Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. English, Europe, Server 42. This may be the greatest account in all of Legend of Mushrooms. It is Lord Hooligo. Check it out. I'm here to show you it. This is a teammate of mine. We play many games together, so he gave me access and I made a video here. Let's take a look at all of this stuff. So you see, saw a little brief look at the stats and the skills. This is the relics. We're going to go everything through everything one at a time and just show you how far done those are. The relics get up to about 22, almost 23,000 in overall stats. There is all the Oris gear, and he has multiples for different sets. Like, he has a blue one there because he just can't find a combo. This is an archer build, if you're curious, when looking at the stats, so you can see just how high... All of those numbers are, and of course, uh, he is number one in everything we do, family brawls, that sort of stuff, and this is comparing to my, what now seems like a very puny account, and uh, very embarrassing account. I'm like maybe fifth on the server, sixth on the server on the right there, so pretty much pretty average on most servers of what would be a top five would be my account, but I don't think many servers have this account. So in Family Brawls, I've only ever seen anyone within about 2 million power of him. I've never seen anyone higher. And look at those insane numbers there. Let's get into some of the other good stuff and uh, take a look at what else there is here. So here are skills and you'll go down and look at this, like over 1200%, 900% on some of those for the special effects. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom just to show you, like, obviously, every possible skill that is possible to gain with this count account is there already. So nothing is missing. He can do any sort of combination he wants. Anything that's locked is because it's hidden behind an event and we either don't have it yet or we haven't had it long enough to be able to accumulate the points to buy it in the shops. There's just some stuff that money can't buy in this game. So you can see there, Hipster Tortoise at level 3. That is very difficult to do. It's very hard to obtain them. <clears throat> Same with Octopus. And the Banana, that's where you... Level 17, so you really get to see uh, basically the financial commitment because that's the type of uh, people like Bunny as well, Be Benny the Bunny. Those are ones that you can't obtain without spending on. So it gives you a good indication of how many times someone would have spun the wheel or after the event, how many times they click the, if you spent this much or gems, you are awarded with this prize of Appel. So let's uh, continue looking through all the different pets that are here and you'll see basically every single thing you could imagine, any combination you would wanna make is there and uh, now we're gonna go into the awakening stones so he has four and that's the maximum you could have on our server right now there's two that you could have bought and then we've only played enough to get a second one like we've only had two weeks across server arena so even if you got enough points to earn more you can only buy one a week so he has the four that is the maximum you can get and of course they are awakened to a very high level and that global attack is over almost 35%. This is crazy. So I know what you're thinking. You're like, this guy spends a lot. This is crazy. But he doesn't actually spend as much as you think. Because I know he uses Aptoid and he gets about a third off of every purchase. Using Aptoid for the best in-game purchases around. If you are going to spend money on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. Get up to 35% off on all in-game purchases. Use the promo code MUSHROOM5. You can see me doing it in the background. And if you'd like to do so, the information how to do so is in the description to the video. Save money. Put more in your pocket. And wait till you get a look at this artifact. Tier 7, 51,500, 51,430 bonus that is incredible. It's insane. Most players have about 22%, and that's really good. So that is what you are up against. And now we look, oh, wow, wow. Look at the advanced amount, 146% skill. That is really good, obviously. And now we're going to look at all of the different mounts. Basically, every single amount that is, amount 
that has been available on our server, he has. And you can see some of them are max upgraded. So any build he wants, and then you can look at even the rush event ones, you can see that they are leveled up. They're not all just at one star. Like he's got them multiple times and leveled them up. And it is a big advantage, not just that you can switch mounts, like, hey, this one works with a certain build. You can use them in the parking and get more rewards. Change them every eight hours to another high level mount that is gonna give you a big, big parking rewards and gains. So it is a big advantage. The more money you spend early on in this game, the more it pays off, it goes a long way. If you start on a server late and start to spend money, you gotta spend more to catch up. And then you're not finishing as high in the daily event. So lots of this stuff is because of him smartly spending on the first few days, now just dominating every competition and winning all of the rewards. And the server benefits from it, obviously. His alliance benefits from it. Uh, you know, winning team rewards because of having a dominant player. This is just an insane account. Wait till you see. Now we're going to go into the talents. And uh, these were just, just unlocked on our server, the wings. So he has these and they're really high. But we're going to go into the science part behind it and the talents and see just how far he has gone on it right here. So you can see he's got a lot done in there. And this is for the archer build. And most people are on like number three. And that looks to me like, what's he got there? Like eight opened that he's working on. So going through the game really, really fast. And I guess that's what you get when you have 35 million power. So let's look at some other stuff in here. You'll start to see some rewards. So things that he would win because, oh, here's auto mining. This is great. <laughs> Do you know anyone with auto mining? I've never seen that before. He just goes in, presses the button, and it's done. You have to get to 10,000 feet for that. I think I'm at like 6,500. So tech almost completely done. And it probably would be done, but he's just waiting for the next tech event. And like he's, they're going to have to open more tech for him. And by the time they do, he's just going to be sitting on so much ore, he can auto do it. So here are all of his statues. Statue level 8. That's insane because seven is probably about the max you need because you get the triple S. But, you know, you just got to keep doing it to get all those triple S's and then you keep moving up the levels. So this is parking and you're going to get to see all of the different rewards he has inside of there and different mounts that he has and how they've all been leveled up. And they all just add to percentages, right? Even if it's just a little bit on each one, it all adds up. So those are the type of rewards that he will win with his mounts while he has them out there. And you could see everybody paying him taxes because they want his protection. They want him to fight for them in the parking arena, obviously. So those are the fences and the decorations and that sort of stuff that he decided to go with. And we'll just keep creeping around the parking a little bit, looking at different mounts and seeing how they're leveled up and different... Uh, fences and lamp posts and that sort of stuff that is going on here and then uh our family brawl rewards will pop pop up and i got to share the podium with this guy i'm there in second place in points but uh obviously lord hulago was the hero of the day winning it for us and here is the gear taking a look at which ones he has and different percentages on the combos and different things he went with. Stun, you know, these are the sort of things that, hey, it just came with the combo on Archer and we, we haven't had Oris gear long enough to be able to work through those problems. It could take months to get the perfect combos, but he's got the most important stuff going on on there. And he does have a blue gear on there, but that's just because he had no combo. So there was a little peek at the Soul Fusions. You saw that, right? You you're gonna see a bit more of it in a little bit. First, we'll just finish off with a little bit more of the stats and wow, 30% crit rate, very high. Here are the soul fusions. You could, And uh, here's our standings for souls, but he doesn't play it all the time because he doesn't need them. So he's, unless the event comes along, there's no reason for him to move up. Either that or he's at the maximum. And here is all eight 
of the souls that are done and the bonuses. Wow, combo damage, 1,100. Oh, man, that is incredible. Mine's like 330 on there, I think. So he is way, way stronger. This is basically everything you need if you're going to play mage or healer prophet area of the game. You need everything maxed because they need to be able to use everything. And even then, it's kind of still a little broken. And he's chosen to go archer and just use the sheer attack and crush people right from the get-go rather than having the extended battle. So those are all extra red souls that he can use in the future whenever certain uh, thing features are unlocked in souls or just to re-roll and level up. And let's look at the standings and look at just the different settings that he has, the different uh, presets that he has set up for PvP, PvE, and uh, I guess the third one would just be kind of whatever he kind of screws around with and has fun. So anyways, let me know if you have ever seen an account like this on your server. Again, he's like day 32 or 33, so I'd love to see how he compares against others. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.